What does a magnet do? Everyone knows that a magnet will attract any piece of iron or steel. See, here's a magnet, here's some iron. It picks it up. It can also pick up scissors. A magnet will also attract another magnet. Magnets can also sometimes do funny things. Peter, would you take this magnet and put it on top of the box? Come on, you can't do it. Here, give it to me, I'll do it. I can do it, easily. Is there an explanation for this funny behavior? Put them near each other, they'll attract. If you turn the, the same one around again, they will repel. This is what happened with the magnet on top of the box. Inside the box, there is another magnet. If you put north and north, they will repel. But if you put south and north, they will attract. Can you explain this in different words? Remember this. It depends on the polarity. Every magnet has two poles, a north and a south pole. You can see it here. North and north repel. South and south repel. But if they are reversed, they attract. See, south and north attract. Why are magnetic poles caught north and south? The Earth is one large magnet with a north pole on top and a south pole on the bottom. That is really funny. A minute ago you explained how like poles repel and unlike poles attract. Should not the north pole of the magnet inside your compass be repelled by the north pole of the earth and turn to the south pole? When we use a compass to find our way, the north part of the compass will always point to the north part of the earth and the south part will always point to the south part of the earth. To avoid confusion, technically the north pole of the earth is really the magnetic south pole of the earth. To keep it simple, we just have to take it the way it is and the north pole of the magnet will always show us the north side of the Earth. Is there such a thing as an east-west compass? Yes, there is, and I've got one. This is a real compass. It points to north and south, but this one here, the non-ordinary one, points to east and west. That is strange. No, it's really a trick. And you can see here, the magnets still point to south and north, but it's only the arms that point to the east and the west, which are, and the magnets are hidden under the feet. Is a compass always correct? The thing you have to remember is, is when you're using a compass, you must always make sure there is no magnetic material nearby because it can interfere with, with the Earth's magnetism and then it confuse the compass. Look at these scissors. They have been accidentally magnetized. Look what happens when I put them near the compass. The compass is useless. You also have to be careful with magnets and credit cards. This one here is out of date, so it doesn't really matter. If I put a magnet over this, 
All the information inside is now erased. There is nothing left inside. If you put a new card near a magnet, it will not work anymore. So the information on a credit card is coded magnetism. That's right. Here is another example of information using magnetism. What does all this magnetism have to do with electricity? Everything. Those two forces absolutely depend on each other. We are now talking about electromagnetism. And how does it work? Whenever an electric current goes through a conductor, magnetism forms around the conductor. I'll show you with this east and west compass here. There is only one single wire here, a copper wire. You can tell when the power is on because this light will come on. Watch what happens when I push the switch on. This is just one single piece of wire. Now imagine that you have hundreds of turns of wire. You have a much stronger force. This here is insulated wire. It may not look insulated, but it is. It has lacquer insulation around the outside. If you get stuff like that and wind it around a nail like this, you have an electromagnet. This here is a proper electromagnet. It has many turns of wire. If I turn it on, I can pick up a piece of iron. If I turn it off, it isn't a magnet anymore. We explore electromagnetism in more detail in our next episode. In the meantime, however, you may wish to remember the most important fact in this episode. The difference between a simple magnet and an electromagnet is... A magnet is always a magnet. An electromagnet can be... Switched on and switched off.